Add it, add it. Trying to stay busy, keep things going, guys. <laughs> January 2021. Woo! Hey, guys, are you using a dump truck? Are you using a box truck? Or are you using a utility trailer? Comment below. Let me know. On our way to go do a quick pickup of some remodeling debris outside. Ladies got some rolls of carpet, a toilet, and this is stuff inside of a trash can. So we're going to empty out that trash can and get your stuff picked up. Be on our way. Quick little job. I'll try to get you guys a quick before and after video as always. I think this one's going to work out perfect. Jamie's just going to back right on in. We're going to load up the trailer. We're going to be in and out in less than probably five minutes. All right. So it's going to be a quick pickup on our way. On our way to the pickup. All right, here we go, guys. Just a little bit of stuff. Toilet. Carpet. And it looks like a tub. So we're going to get her knocked out. Get her done. Boom. We're beating out the can. Good to go, guys. We're going to pick up the toilet and get her done. Here we go. Job done, guys. All right, that's it. We got her done. Picked up real quick. Jamie manhandled that toilet, got it on there. That was about the heaviest thing, I think. Uh, a couple rolls of carpet, a little bit of stuff in the trash can. We didn't take no long at all. It took us longer to get here and negotiate the deal than it did to do the quick pickup. It's so a lot of times how it's going to go, guys. You're going to be able to knock out jobs in five minutes to 20 minutes. Sometimes it'll take a half hour or a couple hours. But a lot of time you can come in and knock out a job in less than 25 minutes, I'd say. So, yeah, one thing good about truck removal, you're kind of in and out. And then the rest of the time, it's just trying to get them jobs, get those leads, and uh, make sure everything's getting disposed of. Good morning, good morning. It is Saturday. I uploaded a new video yesterday. Hopefully, you guys just subscribed and got notified. We got Charles, Jamie, and Bo on their way to the landfill now to make room. We got six estimates on the schedule today. So, I'm going to get in the office to try to get some things going here. Hopefully you guys are keeping up with us and uh, keeping uh, track of junk removal industry and things going as a whole. I mean, it can get busy really quick. Or sometimes, you know, it can slow down and you're wondering how the heck everybody's getting jobs, how everybody's able to get out there and find all these customers. And honestly, you just got to stick with it. Just keep posting every single day and keep at it. And eventually, you know, you'll have a full couple days ahead of time, full week ahead of time. But honestly, as long as you're consistently trying to grow, then you're just going to have times where it's slow, where it's not enough because you have seven trucks and you need eight. All right, guys. So as long as you're constantly, slowly progressing, it might always seem like you're not, never doing enough. But as long as you can have patience, be happy with what you got. All right, guys, have gratitude, have respect for where you made it so far. If you did one pickup last week and you did two this week, perfect. You're doubled up already. If you started with a car and you got a truck, perfect. You're ahead already. If you woke up this morning and just watched this video or even posted one ad, you're ahead already. All right, guys. So pat yourself on the back for the work that you have done and things you have achieved already. All right, guys, just keep going. Every day is a challenge. You got to go every day, every day, every day until what? Until we're gone, basically, because you're not just going to sit there and retire one day and uh, stop moving. So what happens. A body in motion stays in motion. A body that stops moving, well, it doesn't get back up. All right, guys. So hopefully you're staying busy. Hopefully you're staying inspired. Hopefully you're staying motivated. I know we definitely are. Keep watching. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that like button. Hit the thumbs up button below. All right, guys. Get subscribed. Get notified so you know when we release these new videos. Guys are on the way to the landfill now. Got a couple estimates for some stuff in the garage, some stuff in the basement, some boxes, some remodeling debris, maybe some yard waste, maybe some drywall. We'll see. There'll be a bunch of different stuff. So keep watching, guys. Happy 2021. Mid-January, getting this stuff done. All right, guys, quick little pickup, some drywall. Got some stuff in the garage. Got some stuff on the side here. So, I can get her loaded up. Get it out of here. Get it done, guys. Got a little bit of drywall left. We got the garage pretty well cleared out. Man, don't take long at all. We're packed in there good. Gonna get this side done and then go work on that drywall. Oh, well, there you go, guys. Gotta grab this table. We got all the drywall. 
Got that desk, we're good to go. On our way, guys. Estimate number two out of six or seven today. Looks pretty good for a Saturday. That's that, guys, we're done. Out of here. Got knocked out with the Suburban today. So we're getting on it. Knocked out the little bit, a uh, little drop earlier, the stuff outside. Charles and Jamie, or Charles and Bo, ended up knocking out a quick little small minimum pickup, not a whole lot. We're gonna take ourselves a nice little break, and then we're gonna be on our way to the last estimate of the day. It'll be for some boxes and some trash bags. It's actually gonna be for a previous customer. Um, we actually used this customer a couple times. The first job, we took out a bunch of gardening rock, and then we laid down some uh, topsoil where that was so they could have some grass. And then we've done a couple other pickups in between there with some limbs, some cardboard boxes. Now we're back again. So it's really nice when you can get yourselves um, some good repeat customers that like to keep coming back. They don't mind maybe spending a little money, uh, a little more money with the local company, trying to get a name and uh, build something in the community. If you guys are a small company and you're wondering how you can go out there and be $20 more than these big national companies, don't worry, that's just part of being a business. You're, there has to be different prices. There has to be a $20 guy, there has to be a $10 guy, there has to be a $30 guy, all right? So just find your place and you'll find your customers. And just like when you go to Walmart or Target, wherever you go, there's all kinds of different options to choose from. Just because you pick one doesn't mean there's not another guy right below you doing just fine or another guy above you. So uh, just be happy, be confident, do what prices work for you guys, and leave yourself a little room to budge. That way you can give a customer a deal and you can still make some money at the end of the day. All right, guys, so one of the things I always like to suggest, uh, maybe things, if you're having a hard problem, reaching more people or getting customers or trying to think outside the box as far as social media, try to get offline and put up some uh, postcards or um, some door hangers, front and back, logo is great. Gives the customer a little bit of an idea of what they're gonna be dealing with ahead of time. Of course, with the door hangers, you just walk by, leave them. While you're doing an estimate, your buddy could hop out of the truck real quick, hit a couple neighbors right in between, get some customers that way. Postcards, say you go to do a job, you say you're gonna be there at 2.30, give or take 10 minutes. You're waiting, nobody shows up, you just put this right in their door, take a quick picture of it in their door, and that way when the customer says, hey, I missed you guys, say, hey, postcards in the door, take a look, hopefully we can um, be of your service. Or they try to pull a fast one on you and say, hey, we were home and nobody showed up. You could say, well, that's funny. We sent, uh, we could show you a picture of this in your door if you haven't gone out front and got it yet. So not only are they good for advertising, but it's just a good way to kind of verify that you were somewhere and to really just promote the business. So, all right guys, door hangers and postcards. They can really help your business. And honestly, it's a good way to spend some of that extra revenue on some advertising that's not online where you're physically not getting anything this way you can actually order the stuff design it get it you can frame it as the years go by as you do different type of logos and different things in your business you can just watch it grow all right guys going here postcard jar signs quick little tip for you guys quick pickup not a whole lot and you're knocked out there we go guys Got her done, gets a little bit of stuff picked up. Be out of the way. Good to go.